Good morning, everyone. So today we've got an excavator because we're going to do the AC and if you're going to replace your AC, of course you got to have an excavator. So super excited. Um, couldn't find a dealership locally that would help us out. So ended up calling Myron over at Landstar Mobile RV. He said, no problem. We'll get you one order. We'll get it on the roof for you. So they have arrived. The AC came in. It took about two weeks to get it. It's now here. Kevin over here in the excavator is going to help us out. He's going to use the excavator to hopefully lift the old one off the roof. And then we're going to lift the new one up. Already been inside, taking apart the inside. Uh, it's amazing when we were inside and they were taking the face off and then unbolted it. Some of the bolts are actually bent. I mean, you can't believe the bends in these things. So we must have rocked it pretty good, more than I had originally thought. Uh, Myron also has Daryl here. Both of these guys work in the RV industry. Um, their full-time job is making these things. And then Myron started his business on the side. So super excited to find a local mobile RV tech who's gonna be able to help us out. up there now they're trying to figure out how they're going to get the new one up because unfortunately they had to crush it a little bit we don't want to crush the uh the new one but kevin made easy work of getting that thing off the roof Actually, we'll be in good shape because the supervisor just arrived. Hey, it's Jerry from Happy Place Diaries. Hey, so I, I, I couldn't miss this. I, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you're not supervising, you're recording. <laughs> no, good timing because the rain just stopped and everything. So Yeah, I know. I was afraid we weren't going to get this done today with the rain. But yeah. um, now I'm a little shocked at the way you're carrying that. How heavy is are these units oh, roughly? Not, maybe 300. No. Yeah, look at the gun. <laughs> <that, that, that, laughs> like 300, I'm like, man. Look at that. that. That's the look of intensity right there. Now this is the longer one. The strap that went north-south on this? Yeah, I can go get more straps. All right, so we're a little concerned as Kevin goes up, this thing might shift and fall, which obviously we don't want that to happen, so we're going to try some more ratchet straps. Honestly, when the uh, when the AC was dangling from the excavator, what were you thinking? I, I was thinking sketchy from the beginning. The same I feel like I we learned something. I think we could do it better next time. Yeah. If we put that thumb in when we went up, we would have more height. But I mean, we isn't got that it. the truth with every project? You always learn Pretty from much. it. So. so it's up there. Now you're just putting the pieces back together in here. We're actually adding stuff. Oh, you're adding stuff. We didn't have. We insulated it correctly. So what you're saying is it's a good thing I destroyed the old one because now we're going to be more efficient. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so this is literally like a plug and play because we went with the same. Yeah. If you go with the same brain, you just, yep. the only thing out of the AC is this wire and you plug it in. Okay. This wire here, that's where your thermostat control out. That way it knows how cold it is. Oh, okay. It sticks in up here. In the, that's good to know. Okay. 
You want to see it fires up or? Sure, we can see if it works before we finish. And it works. Turn it off again. <laughs> That might explain why that corner is never flush. That would explain. Right that, there. that corner right there was never flush when we bought the uh, uh, trailer, like the, the plastic cover. I I was just thinking, might we could hold too small. Do you want to take it off? See if we could rub that paneling off a little bit. Because see, it's not routed. Yeah, it's sticking out too far. Well, that looks better. And for anyone who doesn't know, your ACs on your RVs, they're not screwed into your roof. It's these four big bolts that go up and compress against the ceiling inside. So there's not actual holes up there, other than the one big hole. They didn't do a very good job with this either. It's supposed to be. Yeah, tape. Tape. Yeah. Now, is that something they would have put together, or does that come directly from Coleman Mock that way? Yes, this part comes in separate, yeah. Okay. This corner right here. Don't lose any air much. That should be good. So that's your downward yeah. flow of cold yeah, air. Instead of going, if there's a leak here, it goes into the ceiling and you lose it. All, about right back up. Yeah. Okay. AC is all done and thanks to these guys for getting us done. This is Myron, this is Daryl. Myron, you have Landstar RV mobile repair, correct? Uh, yes, I do some mobile, starting on more mobile, but I have my own shop is where I'm starting. Okay. And mostly doing in the shop, but I'm gradually moving to mobile once I get more time because I'm still working in the RV factory. Right. He makes RVs for a living. Who do you want working on your RV? Somebody who actually works with them on a daily basis. And you have good friends, right? Yeah, I have a lot of friends around there that love to help because they're bored right now because the RV industry is slowing down. Yep. If you're in Northeast Indiana or you're coming to Northeast Indiana, you need work on your RV, I'm going to put the link down below with the phone number. You can find them on Facebook. Um, Give Myron a call, let him know what your issues are, see if he can help you out. I know right now it's hard to get into dealerships to get work done, and um, they have spare time. They do great work, literally knock this thing out. I think it took longer to get it up there than to actually install it. So definitely give them a call. Thank you so much for helping us out in our time of need. Hey, thank you. All right, everybody, until next time, we'll see you on down the road. Bye.